Hi, Alan Parker here with XBlue Networks. Now we're going to go over the initial programming steps for your new X16 phone system. From any extension in the system, you can do system setup programming. Go to the phone and press the program button. Use the keys next to the display to select system setup and then press enter. Put in the default password pound, 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 and then press enter. Now you are in programming mode. The first parameter that needs to be set is date and time. Press the down key until date and time is selected and then press enter. The first entry in date and time is the year. The last two digits of the year need to be dialed, then press enter. Next, put in the month and then the day of the month, and then press enter. Next is the time of day. If you make an error, press the backspace key. And then press enter after you have the, the time in. The AM PM is adjusted by pressing the up or down keys. Press enter when you're done. Each time you go into a programming parameter and you complete the process for that particular parameter, the system will take you back to the main list. So we're back to the main list now. If you press the up arrow key, you'll go to the next stop. That's mail system. Go into the mail system by pressing enter. The next position we need to program is auto attendant ring. So press the down key until auto attendant ring is selected. Then press enter. This is the setting that determines what happens on an incoming call. By default, all extensions off means that no phones ring on incoming calls and the calls go to the auto attendant. Most companies want it set up so that incoming calls ring at phones. By pressing the up key, the parameter can be changed to all extensions on. And notice I pressed it twice to get to all extensions on. This setting makes all incoming calls ring on all phones. Press the enter key. The next parameter to change is auto attendant delay or AA answer delay. The AA answer delay setting controls how long the phones ring on incoming calls before the system's automated attendant answers the call. The default is 10 seconds. That's three or four seconds of ringing before the call goes to the auto attendant. Most companies change this setting to 20 or 25 seconds. 20 seconds will give you four or five rings before the system answers the call. 25 seconds will give you five or six rings before the system answers the call. Let's leave it at 20 seconds by pressing enter. Okay, now we're back to the main list again. The next two settings that need to be adjusted are daytime and nighttime. Daytime is when you open in the morning and nighttime is when you close at night. Press enter to go into daytime and then dial the time of day that you open in the morning. then press enter. You can use the up and down keys to select AM or PM. Press enter and now you're back to the main list. Press the down key until you get to nighttime and then press enter. Change the nighttime to when you close at night. If you make a mistake, it will just automatically go back to the first entry so you can re-enter. Just like the previous setting, you press enter and then you can select AM or PM by pressing the up and down arrow keys. When you're done, press enter. Next stop is the daytime and nighttime outgoing messages. Daytime OGM is the automated attendant announcement that you record into the system. 
This is what callers will hear if you do not answer the call within the time parameter you set in the AA answer delay timer. So this is the announcement that you want to use to announce your company, tell them what to do to leave you a voicemail message, and any other information you want to provide. I'm going to go ahead and go into this recording area, um, and I'm going to record a sample automated attendant. When you first get into this area of programming, the display will say play. Now, if I were to press enter at this point, the system would play whatever's already programmed in it. If I press the up arrow key, the display changes to re-record. If I press enter now, the system's recorder will start, and then I'll speak the example message. When I get done speaking the message and press enter again, the recorder will stop. Okay, here I go. Thank you for calling ABC Company. We are currently unavailable to take your call. Please press zero to reach the operator or leave us a voicemail message. If you know the extension number of the person you're trying to reach, you can dial it now. Our hours of operation are 7.30 a.m to 4.30 p.m. Monday through Friday. Thank you for calling ABC Company. We are currently unavailable to take your call. Please press zero to reach the operator who will leave us a voicemail message. If you know the extension number of the person we try to reach, you can dial it now. If I press the enter key, it'll stop the recording. I press enter and stop the recording. And now if you're happy with the recording, then press the left arrow key to go back to the main list. If you still need to re-record it, press the up key to change to re-record. You can always press the left arrow key to go back to the main list. At this point, I'm back at the main list, so I'm going to go down to nighttime. Exact same operation. I press enter to go into the recorder mode. I select re-record to start the recording. I press enter to begin recording and then press enter again to stop. Enter to begin recording and then press enter again. System will automatically play back the message and stop and go back to the play screen. At this point, the nighttime message is either needing to be re-recorded or is complete. And when you're done programming, all you do is just press the left arrow key until you go all the way out to the main screen. It's a simple process. There's five steps that we went through to complete this programming. All of it's documented in our online FAQ files.